Oh my god, that introduction never gets old. Welcome back to Tabs. On the last video, I asked you guys, hey, we want some more challenges. We got over 1,800 comments on challenges, so I'm sure you guys have had an amazing Thanksgiving break, for those of you who did. Leave your challenges in the comments below, and you know, if you have custom battles, leave those too. If you see one you like, make sure to upvote it. Now, in the last video, this one almost got 1,000 votes. This is from Paul Lamorvin. It's the tabs challenge of you can only use the units that the enemy's using. So I love this. So I think what we should do is start here bread and butter. Okay, so I can only use the units that the enemy is using. I don't think this should be too hard in theory. And it might have benefited from a few more rules. All right, so the squire costs 100 bucks, but a farmer only costs 70. Look guys, it's the poor man's pike phalanx. If you don't have pikes and trained troops, go out to the fields and get a bunch of farmers with pitchforks. This is something that we did in the like original build of tabs. I'm talking about when poachers and chicken men reign supreme and the farmers were just like a really cheap unit to bring out and basically like if you couldn't afford spearmen and look at that what do you know oh my god what happened to you all right so once again we can do the same amount of units that they have honestly this is a really fun one so let's see i opted for a little bit of a different strategy i went pretty much all in on the chieftains because they're the melee specialists i'm hoping they would distract their chieftains long enough because we need to win. You know what I mean? In order to win, we gotta kill more of the enemies than we, than they kill of us. This is gonna be kind of tricky. Oh my god. That one looked like we absolutely just wrecked it. This is a fun challenge. Thank you, Paul. All right, so it's called a scythe of scythes. I don't know if running in a giant line is the wise choice. I think this actually is a bad idea because I think once they swing, they're gonna get in each other's way. Look at this, they're already pushing each other back. So let's see, are we gonna get one giant, look at that, is that the windup? That's the windup, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I just, I basically didn't do a very good job. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see if we can't run around, you know, with our heads cut off and still walk away with a W here. I don't know, man. It's not looking good, but it's also not looking terrible. So it's somewhere in the middle, it's anyone's game, <laughs> and by anyone's game, I mean it's definitely blues because they got a lot more guys left, so let's see, we've got four of our scythe harvesters left versus what? Their numbers are doubling us? Yeah, they got nine. So yeah, that didn't work. Don't put them all next to each other. Just in theory, you know, we definitely lost that one. But I'm kind of curious. This, this is going to be very good for if we make like another tabs tournament, you know? And we will make another tabs tournament. Get off the ground, man! You're the last one! <laughs> so this one's called Honoring Their Champion, and it's just a bunch of hoplites. So this is- I feel like this is gonna be kind of tricky. It's just- <laughs> this is just- this is what Thermopylae was. <laughs> Ancient battles in Greece, man. Lots of shields, lots of swords. I- I, I can't- uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely losing. Well, all right, so this is a kind of fun idea. Well, actually, first off, I want to say that I'm very happy that we got so many comments, so many votes and ideas for challenges in the last video. Leave yours in the comments below. But right now, we're going to go to John McNiff's suggestion, and it is... Use only ranged units to defeat the campaigns. No pirate captain or harpooner. Basically, units that have range, but also use melee attacks. And no cheerleaders or healers. So how would we do that here? Well, start with some muskets. And I'm thinking definitely some blunderbusses. Oh, what if we put archers on the hills here? Or here? That would be actually really cool, a little ambush. Did you see the developments that are happening? So hold on, this is actually gonna be amazing because this map favors I think range. They do have shields though, so these archers may not be super effective, but at the, at the, uh, I guess the angle with which they're firing, they should be able to hit these guys in the helmets and the necks. Oh, and the musket balls go straight through, straight through these shields. And we got these blunderbusses that are gonna be distracting me. I love this, man. I feel like we got snipers out there. Here come the blunderbusses in, oh, I don't know. I think the shields are pretty good at blocking that. And actually, we might actually still lose. <laughs> I'm realizing that all of my musket lines are out there and they kind of bunched up and they're not doing exactly what I want. I feel like one or two of them could get back there and really mess things up. But, 
The blunderbusses are doing their thing. These guys are looking the wrong way. And as a result, our snipers here are able to shoot these guys in the back. So let's see what happens to good old Leonidas when he encountered black powder weaponry. Well, Sparta's no longer. I have 120 bucks. Here we go. Ranged only? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a longer spear, but he thought to throw his, and needless to say there, Mr. Macedonian Mike, you uh, will not be producing any more children. Oh my god, see? This is the exciting part. Ranged only? Oh. So bomb throwers would be considered ranged, right? I think so. Put a few blunderbusses here to distract the enemy. And then I'm thinking we need a lot. And I'm talking about a lot of muskets. Oh, and you know what? You know what else is ranged only? Freaking catapults. And then I guess the secret units apply? Oh my god, Chuko News? Oh, this is a lot of shields though, so I feel like we need black powder and bombs in order. And you know, I guess the kinetic force of a giant rock. That should, that should do the trick. Catapult did fantastic, the bombs are erupting. We just took out like half the enemy army just with the bombardiers alone. So the hard challenge is probably like using exactly what the enemy provides you, right? The mirror challenge, that's gotta be one of the hardest ones we've encountered. But I really love this one as well, the ranged only in the poor king, sir. You brought a giant sword to a gunfight. Yeah, I know, the Zweihander is beautiful, but dude, black powder is just more powerful. Look at that, he's even sneezing out black powder. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So, all of these guys, this one is, you know, high damage, not very quick fire rate. Chuko News, or Chuno Chuko News? Yeah, semi automatic, quick fire rate. The enemy, <laughs> it's a bunch of priests and one super unit. So, all these priests are just going to get cut to ribbons here. And as soon as this guy falls, I don't care how fast they heal him. We should be able to take him out, right, guys? Uh, right, guys? FIRE! <laughs> okay, wow. One musket ball. It didn't matter how fast they were healing, and now they're healing each other. And this is kind of amazing, because it's like a bunch of just like gold guys running around. You know what? This effect makes me think of like, if you can turn units to stone, right? Like, what if you could do this, but it turn them gray? You could make like Medusa. I feel like that'd be amazing. Medusa from like, Stick War? You know, Stick War 2 when they were fighting the Chaos Empire? Anyway, we, we know we're gonna run away with a victory here. Pew 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 pew! <laughs> oh, I just realized the Swordcaster is ranged only. So the Swordcaster has a, a really fast fire rate, and muskets have like, high damage. So, I anticipate a quick and beautiful victory for the good guys. Oh my god. <laughs> we're turning them into like, porcupine pin cushions. Can you imagine? Fighting a battle with that many swords in your stomach? Yeah, neither can I. Hold on a second. How come these swords have, like, a lock on them? Yeah, that was an easy one. Wait a second. So one issue with this is, when we have to do this one, there's not... There's not really a ranged unit that's only a hundred dollars. So this guy fires his flintlock pistols, but then he gets rid of them, and then he turns into a melee unit, so... There you go. I've been told that the door is now glowing? in tabs. Now, it used to not glow, and now it does. This is really interesting because that is Landfall's logo. That's the symbol. We see it all over the place, on people's belts. Ranged only? Not a problem. Chuko knew where you at. But I wonder what's gonna be behind that door. Can you open it? Is there a possibility to open it? Oh man, this is gonna be kind of tricky. The Chuko News are retreating. <laughs> this guy <laughs> had to fire from like no feet away and he missed. He may have been aiming at somebody else, but that's actually like the most ridiculous thing I think I've seen in tabs in a while was just like, I don't know, did he just acquire the wrong target? Or was he just that terrible at accuracy? Yeah, I think he might be the worst archer we've seen. The Chuko knew on the other hand, well that was a lot of misses. Except for that guy, taking out two. But I think we know where this one's going. It's a victory, and now we're fighting a couple catapults. Oh, you got catapults? I'm gonna use cannons. And musketeers really are, like, one of the best units to have. Should we have put cannons on the front line when they're $1,000? No. Did we do it anyway? Yeah. <laughs> because we know we're gonna win, man. Ranged units are, like, one of the best units, man. Like, if you had to choose melee only versus ranged only, I think you'd choose ranged, would you not? Alright, this one's called Sneaky Tribe. I, I don't know what kind of units they have. I'm assuming they're gonna be coming out of these caves. 
Where are they? Oh my god, these poor guys are stuck in these caves. Oh, I guess there's a lot of shields. And we're using mostly archers, but remember that they've got those little circles, those little holes. So I'm, I'm still expecting to get some kills here. They do have some spear throwers back there, and some rock throwers, and some bone mages. So this is gonna get spicy, but we're gonna cut them down, man. We just got, look at this. Ranged only, baby. This is the great extinction of one of the greatest tribes that have ever ruled Tabsland. Tabsland? We still don't really even know where we're fighting. What are we even fighting for, guys? Who would win? One of the greatest warriors of all time, a Spartan hoplite, or one musket boy? Well, blunderbuss, I guess? The <laughs> Alright, I think I know who's gonna win this one. Oh my god, you're dumb! He dumb. What? What are you- What are you guys doing? This is like Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah! Oh, look at this. They're in the trees. They're bringing swords to a sword fight. I'm bringing swords to a sword fight, too. We just got four sword casters. Now, they are kind of getting ambushed here. But I think they're going to be able to hold them out. Their fire rate is just too dang good. I think... I don't even know if this one's even going to die. Yeah, that's what you call a sweet, sweet victory. So this challenge, I think it's time to hop back to use their units only. Alright, so this is called Absolutely Not Ambushed. Mm. We are gonna have to use 40 squires. So let's see if this works. What I did was I tried to put a few distraction units and I want my main army here to beat up on these guys, then turn around. I feel like we lost too many actually. We actually lost a decent amount and we're just like turned into a giant mosh pit. So maybe that's not exactly how you want to fight. And if our guys start walking off the cliffs here, I'm gonna be a little bit perturbed with the inadequacy of our training in terms of mountaineering. But local superiority is a still a viable strategy here. Although it looks like we're gonna get ambushed from behind. Now I saw some really cool comments like uh, for challenges. One was like basically like go on a crusade. Ah, 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 ah. Sweet, sweet victory. So this one was a cool comment. It was from For the Kaiser. It's time for a crusade. Only use the squire unit, the yant unit, and cavalry jouster units, and the priest. Basically, the crusader. So let's do that here. This is gonna be challenging because we got four mammoths. All right, this is gonna be a little bit silly because it's mammoths. Uh, we sent a jouster here. <laughs> and it immediately got wrecked. But, oh, the healers are just like, nah, man, I'm out of here. So we have like these brave knights here that are, that are trying to just Take the mammoths to extinction. Oh man, dude, mammoths in close confined spaces. Doesn't work out too well when your tusks are a little bit too big and they get stuck in a house. Now all these guys are gonna get some free headshots with their swords if, you know, if they decide to kind of swing their sword in the right way. That guy, <laughs> they're so dumb. I love it. <laughs> they push each other over, hold the phone. How are you even doing that? He, this man is doing some dark magic with his sword hand, his shield hand. So I'm gonna call this one the Deus Vault Challenge of only using the Crusaders. I wish you could like, uh, affect their audio files so they could be like, Deus Vault, Deus Vault. That'd be fun. I guess it would get a little old after a while though, wouldn't it? Yeah! All right, this is gonna be an interesting one for Deus Vault style, because I'm just gonna use all squires. I don't think this should work at all. But maybe if it forces them to like fall, and kill each other? Oh my god. My units don't know how to pathfind. They're like, well, I gotta get up on this building if they're over here. And this guy is using... He's a freaking Jedi. How are you doing that? That's amazing. Yeah, we can't get to him. Oh my gosh. Seeing these catapults fire, like, at the ocean, I wish you could have, like, beach invasion maps. I will say this. Beach in amphibious invasions or even just like naval combat or like naval versus the land would be like the coolest scenarios ever. Timber! All right, now every, all good things come to an end, including catapults that are just cheating. Come on boys, just climb this stairwell right here. These guys don't know what they're doing. Just don't get wrecked. I love how they got the red paint on their helmets too. It, it just makes them look more menacingly. Which is important when you consider the fact that they cannot walk upstairs properly. They, they, you know, they gotta intimidate the enemy some way or another. Oh, look who ambushed them from behind! Hacky hack hack. What are you guys doing? He's pushing them off? Yeah! And now look who it is. The one that's trying to shoot, maybe take down the statue, maybe is practicing for the inevitable naval update. Just kidding. I just wish that would happen. Have you guys seen 
Landfall's like uh, development updates that are adding these like fortresses and stuff like that. There's gonna be a bunch of new simulation maps coming to tabs. This is gonna be tough. That's a moving target and we've got ranged units. Turn around and fire! Oh, that's one hit. One guy, whoa. The axe stuck into him? All right, we can only use the units of the enemy. Wheelbarrows. And we got a bunch of hay balers though, so that counts. That should be the mainstay of this, this army. Charge my soldiers! Send out the chariots! <laughs> I still want a chariot added back to tabs, like with blades on the wheels. Like, we haven't seen a chariot in tabs in forever because the chariot was changed to a sleigh. Man, I tell you what, hay balers are really, really good at fighting these guys because, like, the dudes who throw the apples can't do very good, man. That's my voice right there. <laughs> I just think that's the craziest thing, man. I was just like, hey, man, I did a little voice acting for for tabs. Yeah! All right, the enemy crusade is trying to deus vault our lands, but don't worry. Black powder! <laughs> Muskets. This one's kind of interesting. I would love to have done the mirror challenge more, but I need, like, specific rules in a way. Like, I feel like it would be... It, it's probably one of the hardest challenges to use exactly what the enemy units are using because in some levels... They don't even have, like, you'd have less gold than them. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. They l that's, that's amazing how they do that. All bombs, all the time. Blow these little hobbits up, man. Aren't they hobbits hiding in the hay bales? There's a little bit of friendly fire going on with uh, some of our incorrectly thrown bombas here. But when they start going off, we need, like, Russians with, like, Molotov cocktails. Oh, there's a few that are stuck. Okay, that's cute. Well, don't worry. You, sir, are gonna go airborne. Oh, man. I think... Wait, is this a female unit? Which is, like, kind of like a buzz bowl cut? We should have... I think... No, it's a coconut helmet. Or is it hair? Yeah, because if we're gonna use the... Use only their units. Or mirrored, right? Then this would be, like, hoping we win... With just a better formation, I guess? They're using a wedge formation where you just went block. But if they have more units than us then they should win this one. Yeah, see this one, it looks like they're gonna run away with it, right? I feel like they're they're getting the surround on us. They're starting to 2v1 some of our guys. But tabs can be so unpredictable. Although, uh, this one definitely, they got what? Six guys still alive and we got two. Bad numbers. But, if we were to then switch it to ranged only, easy. <laughs> Come on, boys, come and get some arrows, because these guys don't have any shields. Oh, man. That's gotta be rough. This is like, what? What's the Battle of France, like, uh, where the English fought the French, and they just, their longbowmen cut them to ribbons? Because that's basically what's happening right here, guys. Oh, -ho -ho. oh, by the way, it's Sunday, right? It's December. Guys, Christmas is right around the corner. Oh, my God. What should I ask for Christmas? What are you guys asking for Christmas? I kind of get my own Christmas presents <laughs> these days. Ooh, they're going ranged. All right, who wins the arrow fight? Archers and frost archers. Look at that. So many people just got wrecked right there. Oh, they got freaking snakes. Oh, that they actually might win this one. Shoot! Oh, we're getting icicled. The snakes was a nice touch. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Look at these snakes slithering. <laughs> Alright, I went for a little bit of a cheeky strategy, I think. A bunch of bomb throwers. I don't know if this is gonna work, but the bombs are out. The bombs should be able to do a lot of damage on both flanks. And we got this guy over here, which, yeah, they got frosty arrows, but he's good at tanking damage. So you gotta love that. And then I went for some spear throwers because they were cheaper, but even still, no, no, the bombs are starting to pay off despite the fact that they got snakes on the ground. Come on, there. There's, what, five of them left and a few snaky boys? Just a few snaky boys, don't worry. Boom! All right, one guy, his spear to the back, his spine is shattered, and so are their dreams of beating me. Oh, my God. Okay, this is gonna be just absolute craziness. Archers in sniping positions everywhere. Oh, my God, that's so amazing. That siege, so only one of those guys survived that. It looked like he was carrying me, his friend's shield, too. Oh, this could be bad. We might lose a lot of archers right here. Unless someone decides, or, or, you know, if he falls, I guess that could work. But the archers shooting from every area, like all different sides. God, look at that. 
Go to sleep. And Mr. Armor Boy here doing a good job. But eventually they're gonna be looking the wrong way and take arrows to the backs. Oh my god, never mind. Where are my guys that are supposed to be up here? Why is there an arrow in a tree over here? Who shot that? One of these guys? Wait, should we be Robin Hood? I think we should. Oh my god, this is bad. Phew! Didn't work! Bomb throwers. Everywhere. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just looks like there's fireworks going everywhere, but they're like on the ground. But I guess this is where the strategy falls apart. There's gotta be lots of friendly fire that just happened there. But I guess if we do more damage to them, there's a lot of guys that look like, I don't know, are they worshipping this tree? No. They just got stuck. Hit him in the face with the bombs! Oh, that guy's totally dead by bombs. Yeah, you guys are gonna die too. Oh, you better win this one-on-one -on -one fight. You're not. It's not gonna happen. We need muskets. So I guess in certain maps, in certain situations, it is still a little bit crazy. The ranged only is a challenge. This is urban city map. I cannot wait for the tools for the modding community to be able to build custom maps. All right, so this is interesting. I basically set it up so ho- mm. This is totally accurate derpage. But basically, my muskets have been splitting down the streets. Oh, they got a ton of reinforcements. This is gonna be kind of tricky because there's like, well, I guess we got guys back here. There's a, there's some friendly fire, most definitely. But overall, if these are the last two guys, yeah, they are because we got the surround. This is an ambush, man. You know what we need? Aztec units because these guys with their conquistador looking hats and they're like black powder muskets. We need to have like. You know, the Spanish uh, conquistadors versus like the Aztecs. And you could have Aztec temples if there was custom maps, man. Oh, this just looks strange. Why are you bent over, dude? This guy, I don't know, man. He's like throwing up. Is that guy dead? How do we kill a guy that <laughs> doesn't allow himself to be shot? Well, we, we achieved victory anyway. <laughs> Ranged only, huh? How about some flying arrows? Oh my god. Do you think- Oh, I wonder how you could- if you could keep the guy in the air. Hit that made him look like a parachutist. A paratrooper. Yes! Oh, that- that bought us a little bit of time, but remember, they got a decent amount of health in them. But... Oh, shoot- shoot him some more! Shoot him some more! No! Oh, okay. I love it. Tree mammoths. How about flying mammoths? Oh my god, that's a lot more mammoths than I thought. Oh, I don't think mammoths fly. I think they're just too dense. They have too much mass. And as a result, balloons... I guess it might keep them from walking? No? No, some of them were like, they got stuck. Yeah, I think mammoths are gonna wreck our world right here. They do not die to this! Well, let's try an alternative strategy then. Let's let the spooky faction, I mean, they're the new guys, right? I'm really curious to see if we're not gonna get a Christmas faction. There wasn't anything around Thanksgiving, but you gotta remember that Thanksgiving's an American holiday. The developers are Swedish. And you know, while a giant turkey would've been amazing- Oh my god, how did he do that? He just lunged and he died mid-animation, so he like did this death barrel roll kind of a thing. Dude, Do doing flips, some of these skellies are stuck under the weight. And look at this. I mean, oh my god, that just- that just looks like a bad day at the dentist right there. And this guy, he's- he's trying to take a nap. Oh my god, this reminds me of like the early days of Tabs when we showed off the Mammoth Shield strategy. Cause this is exactly what the Mammoth Shield strategy is. One of their bodies just absorbs so much stuff, but they do sink into the level over time. And it allows you to get around it. It's not an impervious strategy. Alright, so basically what's going on is there's this thing called the Steam Awards. And the Steam Awards is last for another two days until December 3rd, and they're announced on December 31st. And Landfall is asking to be nominated for the Labor of Love Award. The Labor of Love Award is basically when the game's been out for a while, and the team is well past the first unveiling of their creative baby. But being the good parents they are, these devs continue to nurture and support their creation. The game, to this day, is still getting new content after all these years. I think that's pretty, pretty true for tabs. Although one could make the argument, you know, like, the Steam release, the official release was in, what, April? So yeah, you know, I feel like this game has given to us so much. It's the- it's still the best battle simulator out there. So let's do our part. And let's also exterminate the mammoths. Oh yeah, I forgot Candleheads were arranged. Oh, this is awesome. The mammoths are kind of getting stuck in the street here. Well, maybe not stuck enough. 
<laughs> Actually, that strategy was pretty brilliant, and the wheelbarrows are just coming out and wrecking all of us. We need a unit that will be able to take out the mammoths early, and you know what we haven't used in a while? is some good old-fashioned siege equipment. Ballistas. If they can spear and take these guys out, we'll put a few snake archers up here to distract them. Ooh, fireworks will be good. All right, let's see how this works. Frost archers would be an easy choice as well, but you know what? We're trying to spread the love here, even though the fact we haven't used frost archers. I like firework archers as much as the next guy, but this is not a good strategy. Ballistas did not do their thing, although the mammoths look like they're killing some of their own units. I think the ballista missed, or it's aiming at the wrong guy. Oh, the mammoth got stuck, and look, the ballista's right here, but it's dead. Well, if you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. I feel like this is the case. Aim for the kneecap. Shoot! Fire! Ooh, right in his head. Bombs and ice arrows? Maybe that could work if we create, uh, you know, a strategy of our own here of the mammoth shield where we use the mammoths against them. The bombs don't seem to be very good against mammoths. Well, guys, you know the drill. Leave your comments in the comment section below with some pretty cool challenges, and you know what? You know, you don't want to have too many rules, but you do want to have a couple so that we can stick to the frame of the challenges. So, thank you for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Remember to go vote in the Steam Awards. Leave your challenges below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.